I think a lot of this will depend on how players react domestically in the United States. You know, we have an important midterm election coming up next month, and right now there is a lot of anger and outrage voiced by lawmakers on both sides of uh, the partisan divide. Uh, there is no doubt, as you mentioned, that Trump sees Saudi Arabia as a very important ally of the U.S. in the Middle East, a country that has a special role to play in terms of Trump's Middle East agenda. But at the same time, domestic politics is always important, and Trump can't afford to be seen as massively cozy uh, to the Saudis right now, at least to the, um, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia right now. Well, it was interesting that yesterday when he was speaking in the Oval Office, Trump also uh, mentioned Iran and seemed to sort of try and remind the public that Iran is uh, the U.S.'s natural foe rather than perhaps Saudi Arabia. Uh, do you think that Khashoggi's killing, as we find out more about it, could lead to a changing in U.S. alliances uh, in the region? I mean, Turkey would certainly like a shift in those alliances. I'm not so sure that we can expect fundamental shifts in terms of U.S. alliances in the Middle East because of this uh, case of the Washington Post contributor being murdered in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. But there is no doubt about the fact that the U.S.-Saudi alliance is now on some shaky ground. I don't think that the administration will take any measures that will fundamentally change the basic U.S.-Saudi relationship. But it's going to be a lot more difficult for the U.S., both in terms of uh, folks in our government, as well as businessmen in the private sector, when it comes to doing business with Saudi Arabia. It's going to be more costly to be seen as so close to a regime which um, allegedly orchestrated this, this murder from the top. Well, we've certainly seen that with the so-called uh, Davos in the desert that started yesterday. Uh, what do you make of the way, uh, quite unusual, that Turkey has been drip-feeding information on this case to, to U.S. media? Turkey is in uh, an interesting situation right now. I think the reason why this information has been released rather slowly has to do with Turkey's interest in not excessively antagonizing Saudi Arabia and giving Riyadh sort of an opportunity to have a, a face saving from this crisis. There is no doubt that Turkey has um, many deep ties with Saudi Arabia. We see this when it comes to investment, tourism, uh, trans the transportation sector, so on and so forth. So there is quite a bit for the Turks and Saudis to walk away from if there's going to be a major crisis in this bilateral relationship. At the same time, Ankara is interested in keeping the pressure going on the Trump administration in noticing that Trump has seemed to be given giving the crown prince the benefit of the doubt. Uh, Ankara is definitely putting pressure on the White House to not do that excessively and to try to put pressure on the White House, to put pressure on Saudi Arabia to come clean.